we're pretty sure it's going to be a happy new year for this man. Jacques Kreisweig finished 2016 in style, winning the Lion of Africa Cape Town Open. It's still surreal. I'm, I'm still taking it in day by day, to be honest. I mean, you know, I'm very privileged to be in the position I am, winning my first tournament. And uh, I've worked really hard to get to this stage and just very excited to, uh, to what the future holds. A great week for Jacques, so many positives. The one moment of magic from the tree stands out for the man himself. It was four very good rounds, but the shot that stood out for me was that recovery shot, the third shot on the 16th hole, the par five. I mean, I was dead and buried there. I had a little bit of a shot and uh, I managed to hit a miraculous recovery shot, which uh, finished a meet and a half from the hole and uh, to make the putt was just an uh, added bonus. And when it came to the finishing hole, he could celebrate down the fairway. A first Sunshine Tour victory in the bag. To win in the Sunshine Tour is not very easy. I've won a couple of events as an amateur golfer. I've won a couple of events on the RGD Tour and on the Big Easy Tour. And I never thought it would really take me four years to win my first event on the Sunshine Tour. It's seriously not easy. You know, all of a sudden, it's, you're playing against a field that's very competitive. The South African golfers are really good. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just not that easy. It's, uh, so eventually when the win comes, it's, it's really nice and it's an it's awesome feeling. And a moment he could enjoy with a tight-knit family who got him into the game after trying a few different avenues. My dad introduced me to, to the game, actually at a very young stage, but I was always into rugby and cricket and, you know, athletics and stuff like that. Golf was always on the backbone. Uh, I only started playing or taking golf seriously at the start of high school. I always played provincial cricket, provincial rugby and stuff like that. So golf was uh, always like on the backbone, but it, it just took over in high school. My childhood memories of golf, I always used to remember watching Tiger Woods play. Tiger Woods is my inspiration of playing the sport, is, is my era in the sport. I really wish for him to, to get back into it as soon as possible. But basically that's where it started, watching Tiger Woods play and winning tournaments on, on the team and that's, I think that's where the fire inside me got going. That fire makes him good to watch. He can wear his heart on his sleeve and shows just what things mean to him. I'm a very emotional player. I, I, I put a lot of work into what I do. I set out to, to become one of the best golfers in the world. It's, it's a goal that me and my coach have been working towards from a very long time ago. So, you know, it's just working extremely hard. And that, I think that, that hard work and work ethic, um, you know, carries through my family. I used to grow up on a farm and uh, my grandfather was a farmer and he used to be one of the hard workingest people I've ever met in my life. And he passed away earlier this year. It affected me a lot. And, uh, you know, I think that's, that's where the emotion comes from. Um, the work ethic, um, you know, I, I tend to think of myself as one of the hardest workers on tour. Uh, I really do put in the work and I think that's, that's just where it comes from. And working hard means dedication to the mental side of things as well as the physical. My mental state has changed a lot. I mean, at the start of the year, opposed to my past couple of years on the tour, I've worked very closely with Moretta Klaassen and she's just transformed my mental aspect on the game completely. I've, I've got a lot more mentally stronger on the course. Uh, I don't get angry anymore. Um, I'll, I'm a lot more calm and I'm staying in the progress of, of just getting better and accepting when I'm hitting bad shots or you just, just how to handle myself when I'm, when I'm in a tough spot or under pressure and stuff like that. But physically, I've started working very hard on my fitness. Uh, I feel it's a very important uh, aspect of, of any professional sport, I feel. And uh, just for myself, you know, I like to be fit, I like to stay active, I uh, like, like to get out there uh, outside the game as well. So I see that as a, as, as a huge plus point in my game as well. Fitness and gym work is a huge aspect in my life and, and you know, in my career as a professional golfer. I feel it's very important to be a fit individual and a, a fit sportsman. I, I think in any sports, rugby, cricket, golf, anything, the fitter you are, the better you're going to perform on the golf course, the better you're going to perform on the, on the field. So to myself, uh, I pride myself on, the, uh, on my fitness and my gym work. I like to work out, I like to stay active every single day, I do mountain biking, I like to do crossfit, I like to go to the gym every single day almost if I can, uh, depends on how I feel, but uh, definitely a huge aspect in my life. I tend to train a little bit harder than the, the average golfer, 
I do a little bit golf specific stuff, but I'm not, let's just, let's just put it like this. I'm not gonna overdo it where I'm risking an injury or something like that. So I still keep it in the boundaries, but I like to train a little bit harder than a normal golfer. One win down and looking to step up even further in the course of 2017. Golfing goals, definitely a co-sanctioned event win. European win would be unbelievable. I don't have European to a card. Uh, I've got a couple of European tour events coming up, the ESA Open especially, and I'm extremely looking forward to the opportunity to tee it up uh, early January. And uh, yeah, just uh, try and get that win under the belt and then uh, obviously uh, getting my European tour card from there. Surely a player to watch in coming months.